Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Brooke if you haven't been here before. If you have, thank you so much for coming back because today is an exciting one. I have found a new product and I'm testing it out for you in this video. Quickly, I'm gonna put this in now before I get all into that makeup jazz. If you can tell, I've done my hair a bit different today. I used to do my hair every day like this for college and people just assumed that my hair was naturally like this, but no, it's naturally dead, dead straight. If you are liking how I did my hair today, if you're not, that's fine by me, but if you are and want me to do a tutorial on it, please let me know in the comments down below and I'm more than happy to. Today I tried out a brand new glitter palette and created this makeup look it's like a pinky ombre cut crease thing and i love it so much this is one of my favorite looks i've created in a long long time so if you want to find out what i thought about this new eyeshadow palette or you want to just see how i created this makeup look then please keep watching <laughs> Well, let's just get into this palette and oh it was upside down i got this for christmas from my mum and i was like oh my god my mum did good i must admit when i opened this and saw the brand i was like hmm because i'd never heard of them before so this is it and i just take the sleeve off and you open it up and we have these what i absolutely fell in love with when i opened it i was like excuse me like the colors this is just me in a palette especially at the end of last year i've tried to like step away from glitters a bit because every eye look i was creating had glitter in it but then i got this palette and i was like Hold on a minute. I need to test this out. When I normally want a really glittery eye, I find that actually using loose glitter gives the most effective look. I always find that it has the most reflect in it and it's the most bold and glittery. Having this palette is really interesting to me because I want to see how it matches up to using loose glitter. Obviously, I feel like this will be a lot easier to use. Firstly, you have a whole palette for of bright different colours instead of hundreds of little pots with different coloured glitter in it. I have seen online before you go smothering your whole body in it, a lot of people say that you need to get the top layer off. I'm going to start swatching them first and then whatever colour really stands out to me, I will throw on my face. Let's get swatching. How I'm going to swatch them is kind of go rows down. This is my first swatch and oh my goodness oh if you see it's a little bit patchy at the moment it's not an issue because when i would put these on my eyes i would pat them on anyway i wouldn't swipe it across my lid because it's glitter it's gonna move it's not like a shadow so it's, it's thicker we'll see later on how it kind of transfers onto the eye because the moment it's like on my finger it's really hard to get off if you can see do you see what is amazing, if that was on your eye, they set so once you get it on your finger you really need to move quick because i moved really quick with that one and i feel like it's swatched a lot better this swatched a lot nicer it's just like a really subtle whitey silver glitter that pink Okay, so that is just not coming out the pan. You see a bit on my arm. It's completely come off my finger. Like, that should have been a bigger swatch than that. Let's go with the colour below what I am loving. It's like a reddy, pinky colour. Oh, now that was good. I think I just was rubbish at swatching. <laughs> There's still like patchy bits when it comes to the end, but I feel like these look so much more pigmented. And what I think is that I just didn't take enough of the top coat off, which is really annoying because I said, I don't know, I said that I need to do it, but I just obviously didn't do it enough. See, that swatch is a lot nicer now. 
I'm in love. I'm in love. I don't know what colour I'm going to use yet. Do you know what I really miss vlogging? Like, I really miss vlogging. I don't know. I feel like I'm probably going to vlog more on my Insta stories. Do I do that? Oh, ooh. Yes is the last row and they're super chunky super thick glitters they're very very similar to the loose glitters that i use i feel like it will be a lot lighter on your lid hopefully these are going to be easier though like easy to work with i hope it will work because i find it really difficult like applying glitters to the eye when you have acrylics on i'm not going to put foundation on or anything first because as i swatched and it's a bit crumbly i don't want it to crumble all over my face and getting my foundation i've got glitter on my face already right into it and i'm nervous i don't think it's nerves i think it's excitement i get like that feeling in my stomach you know i'm here looking like a bird feeling like a can the best i've ever been and i'm going to be using my mac pro longwear concealer as an eyeshadow base I was thinking because I don't do my foundation and everything in every video because otherwise it could be like 40 minutes long. Do you want me to do a foundation video? So when I only do my eyes in videos, you can refer back to that video. My tips and things on how I put my foundation and contour. Shall I do that? I've got my beauty blender. I've just sprayed it with my all night out setting spray by Urban Decay. Kind of blend this in so there's not any like harsh lines but also just kind of push it into the skin a bit i bring it really far out because i normally bring my eyeshadow really far out so to set the eyeshadow base i'm using the fenty beauty universal blotting powder i'm going to get my barry m fall in love palette and i'm going to get this brown right here onto a fluffy blending brush and this is the mac 217 brush and i'm going to put that into my crease next on the barry m fall in love palette i'm going to be using the brown underneath it was a much more like cooler brown basically put that where i put the warmer brown just to like cool it up a bit and now i'm going to get a much smaller blending brush and this is the luxie 231 small tapered blending brush and i'm going to go into this brown right here on the barry m fall in love palette it's like a grayy brown and i'm going to put that directly into the crease to like contour it a lot more just to make sure that all the colors are really blended in nicely i'm going back in with my mac fluffy brush and just kind of going over it all so it's like a seamless gradient of the colors once i've done that i'm now going to go back in with my concealer what i use for my base now i have a tiny angle brush by mac and this is the 208 brush and i'm putting that into my concealer what i used earlier and the shade i have that concealer is in nc20 and i'm just going to carve out a cut crease just sprayed some setting spray on my beauty blender and i'm just going to go over where i put that concealer I'm going to set my eyes with the white shadow here that is on the Barry Emma Fall in Love palette. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me just show you. What I tend to not do, but when I'm filming, I find it really hard not to, is to look up because when I look up, this is what happens. Concealer transfers, which is not a problem because all what I'll do is just kind of round it up. I'm just setting it with that white shadow. I've decided I'm going to put some shadow down on my eyelid first because if there are little patches where you can see through the glitter basically don't want that and then you don't see this bright patch of skin in between the glitter so that's what i'm going to do now because i haven't used this in such a long time i'm going to be using the fenty beauty galaxy palette i'm going to go in with a meteor crush on the inner corners of my cut crease some really light pink in the inner corners kind of like to halfway now i'm going to go in with sunburst which is like my favorite shade on the fenty galaxy palette i'm going to put that in the center i feel like i need more pigment and the shadows in the fenty galaxy palette are not really bright they're kind of like a shimmer so i'm going to go into the urban decay electric palette and i'm going to use the pigment right here called savage and i'm going to put that kind of into the, the center of the eye 
Now I'm going to go into the shade Jilted. It's this purple right here. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eye. It's time for the glitter. So I'm going to go in with this pink right here on this palette. And it is a really light, warm toned pink with some blue and green reflect in there. And I'm going to put that on my little finger because I feel like it can get in my eyes a bit easier. And I'm just going to pat it in the in a corner oh i can see that i don't know if you can see that that's super pretty i'm liking that now let's use a brush get a tiny little brush like this get some glitter on it so i'm going to bring that glitter up into the center <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> the reflect in this glitter is insane it's super messy but can you see can you see that? Because I can see that. Right, what colour are we going to go in next? This pinky purple colour right here. We're going to put that in the middle. Come through glitter. Come through. Come through. I don't want there to be a harsh line. So I'm just kind of picking up the glitter and putting it into, into the other glitter. I don't know if the formulas are different or like the glitters are different consistencies. But I find this one is a lot harder to get a straight line with. And I'm going to go in with these two right here. These two purples. I'm putting my hand in the lighter purple first on my finger and i'm just tapping it on to the outer corner just so we can get them really nice different colors of reflect in there before we go in with a heavy dark purple now i'm going to go in with the darker purple and i'm putting that on my little finger tap it on the outer corner dragging some of that purple inwards a bit so we have a bit of a gradient there i'm gonna get my makeup wipe and just clean up the sides one thing about this palette that i've just realized is that there is no black glitter what well, is kind of a shame because that is probably one of the most wearable colors if you're thinking about a glitter quite a lot of people would probably wear it in a black smoky eye I'm so happy with this. I can't. I just can't. I'm going to put my foundation on, do my brows, do all that jazz, and then I'll come back and I'll see you in a second. I did quite heavy makeup today because we did crazy eyes, so I need to, like, make it all make sense. Do you know what I mean? What I'm going to do is, like, really dark and smoke it out. So, I need a purple. I have my baby right here. I bet you thought, ah, oh, she's not using the full spectrum palette in this tutorial. Tutorial. Well, you're wrong because we're here. I am going to use this dark purple here called Delirious. Delirious. <laughs> Delirious. Got this tiny, tiny little smudgy brush that I use for my under eyes, and I'm going to get that Delirious colour and I'm going to put it out a corner of my eye and I'm going to bring it a little bit into the glitter. Do you see what I'm doing? Do you see now? And I'm going to do the same on the other side small tapered blending brush that i used earlier that has a little bit of brown shadow still on it and i'm going to smoke this out a little bit but i have this tiny little flat mac brush it's the mac 212 brush and i have the tiniest bit of foundation on it and i'm just going to go along the edge i've got my mini beauty sponge by real techniques blending that out a little bit i've got the lancome le crayon col in noir see how sharp that is so be careful i'm gonna put that in my waterline oh and i'm also gonna put some of that liner on the top lash line as well i'm gonna use a new mascara i've decided remember me oh my goodness right yesterday i saw two films i know I'm crazy. In the cinema, I saw Coco. Like, it was so, oh my God, it's such a good film. I'm going to say it because it's Disney and I just love Disney. But, oh, it was just such a good film. Like, I could not sit still in my seat for the majority of it. And, like, nor could Matt sit next to me. We were like... <laughs> like that. And then, at the end, 
I was like crying. I was probably crying. And even when I walked out, I was like, I had to stop thinking about it because I could proper cry. But it's such a good film. And then I saw The Darkest Hour about Churchill. And again, like that whole day was like so emotional because it just reminded me of my granddad. My granddad would call him the great. And he'd go, oh, the great man said this. And I'd be thinking like, who is this great man? And then one day I actually asked, he was like, oh, uh, Churchill? He like said it as if I was obviously meant to know. And I was like, oh, yes, of course it is. He literally idolised him. He would have loved that film so much. Like, I would have 100% took him to the cinema to go see it. Because it was such a good film. So it was like a bittersweet in that way. That it was such a good film. But it's like bittersweet that I couldn't take him to go see it. Or I couldn't see it with him. Because it would have just been nice seeing him in the cinema watching it. But yeah, two really, really good films. Anyway, mascara. So I am wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara. I got this in my advent calendar, my Charlotte Tilbury advent calendar. So now I've got my mascara on, I'm going to put some lashes on and I'm going to use my Urban Decay one. I'm pretty sure I used these in my last tutorial but I have no shame, I don't care, I love them. I'm going to wear them to death and this is my Urban Decay lashes in Tricked Out. I'm going to pop them on, my lashes on and now I need to find a lipstick. What was my main problem? in my last video but we're gonna we're gonna get it right today we're gonna get it <laughs> i just can't so i think i'm gonna go with the anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick in crush yeah get this band off my hair let my mane out you a little bit closer so this is the final look and the final verdict of these glitters honestly love them not gonna lie had some reservations at the beginning once i actually learned how to swatch them properly and apply them on the lid it's so easy and it's so light because i'm used to wearing chunky actual loose glitters i'm used to feeling it on my lids like i don't mind it i'm not bothered but i honestly love the these glitters it's like 10 o'clock at night and i'm gonna have to take this off soon and i don't want to i want to keep this on all day and go out and show everyone i cannot wait to use all the other colors i just keep looking at myself every time i see that twinkle i'm just like mesmerized by my eyes like is that normal no that's not normal the colors are amazing the amount you get in this palette is amazing you can get this on amazon they do loads of other different palettes they don't just do glitters they do like normal shadows they also do palettes that have glitters like this and normal shadows in it and i'm obsessed i feel like this is going to be my new palette that you're going to see in like nearly every tutorial just if you're not shook, then I don't know what is going to make you shook. Does that even make sense? Does this make sense? Did I even say the brand? Delancey? Delancey? I got this Christmas day and I've waited this long to try it. You're going to be like, Brooke, are you going to do a matte look anytime soon? Nope, nope, okay. Okay, I will link it in the description down below and you can check out their other palettes and stuff This is the only palette I've tried of theirs so far But I will definitely be on their website and checking out some more palettes of theirs I really hope you like this tutorial. It's a bit of a strange one. You know what well, I say that about all of them Maybe I'm just strange if you liked this tutorial Please let me know by pressing the like button down below. That's the button with the thumb up. Can you press it? Thank you very much and also leave a comment if there's anything you want me to test out because I am loving these testing videos and let me know if you've ever tried this brand before have you heard of them or you can always DM me on Instagram I reply to everyone there's so many things that I have not tried and then people are like hey have you tried this and I'm like no is it good but yeah i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching Mwah. bye